inspired makeup look, but this is all 100% drugstore, so affordable, and I was so pleased with the way this came out. And starting off with the brows, I'm using this L'Oreal brow pencil. You guys, I love this brow pencil. It's so affordable, and I swear it's comparable to the Anastasia Brow Will brow will a brow will brow is it's absolutely amazing you should totally try it if you've never tried it before i feel like this is a drugstore underrated product it's my favorite i love it and to carve out my brows i'm using the fit me concealer it's super lightweight creamy and it just makes carving out my eyebrows a dream and this is totally optional you don't have to do this if you don't want that strong makeup brow look and these brushes i am using i will link them down below i'm testing them out so far I think I like them it's the very first time I've ever tried anything like that like the oval brushes but these are much more affordable but anyways and then I set my brows with a L'Oreal um, brow gel and then I go in with this Maybelline color tattoo 24-7 in the pencil version and this is in creamy chocolate or in the crayon version and then for the eyeshadow I use this covergirl true naked nudes palette and this is the first time I've used this palette and it is amazing I was actually pleasantly surprised with the quality of this and it being drugstore and then I took a transition shade and put it in my crease area uh, when I put the cream crayon on first I put that shimmer brown in the true naked palette just to make that color stay and yes I just wanted that base on first that way my lid was a nice wash of dark brown if you saw that picture on Shay she just has like a shimmery brown on her eyes and it's really beautiful and the eyeliner I'm using is this um, supreme Cole Kajal eyeliner by Milani this is super old honestly and it's not like my favorite eyeliner ever and so any black eyeliner in your collection would work and then I just use a little bit of liquid liner in the inner corner just to uh, blend my false lashes in and to prime my face I use this NYX CC cream color correcting and it, it brightens I really like this stuff I feel like it really does brighten my face and it preps my skin for the foundation and I am using the L'Oreal true match in the cushion form and I use it with this brush that I was telling you about and these are the my makeup brush set again I will link them down below so far so good I liked this brush with the uh, cushion because I just dunked my brush into it and it made it really easy and then I use this Maybelline instant age rewind uh, concealer I haven't used this concealer in a really long time and I forgot just how full coverage this sucker can be so I was kind of like woo this is bright and uh, no I made it work though I blended out again with that brush set and Yes, I. whenever I was blending it out with this brush, I didn't really like like the way that it looked. So I ended up going over it with a beauty blender just to, you see what I mean? You can kind of see the brush strokes, but I fixed that by going over it with the beauty blender. And then I set that with this Wet n Wild contour palette with the lighter shade, which I really, really like. Then I set it all with the Infallible Pro Matte Powder. And then we're gonna go back to that Wet n Wild contour and just bronze our face up. I really love that Wet n Wild contour palette. It's so affordable and I swear it's so pigmented and just makes your makeup look wonderful. And again, back with the eyeliner, we're gonna go on our lower lash line and just uh, line our waterline. I really like how dark and sultry Shays looked, but her face didn't like look super made up. You know what I mean? Obviously there was a ton of eyeshadow on her eyes, but I don't know, it was beautifully done. And then I go down and smudge a brown eyeshadow on the lower lash line and then top it off with some mascara. And I just think that uh, CoverGirl Nudes palette just works so well. I really like the way the eyes turned out. And to contour and blush and highlight, I just use this entire Maybelline Master Contour Kit. It's fabulous, actually. I really liked the way the blush looked. It contoured my face nicely. And then the highlighter actually gave me a really beautiful, subtle highlight. And then I contoured my nose a little bit I use the same exact palette for all of this and I like contouring the bulbous parts of my nose I feel like it just helps whenever I take photos and yes I'm slowly trying to figure er, figuring out how to contour my nose and then I just go over everywhere where I put the contour and then I just wanted to define it just a little bit more in the picture she doesn't really have a harsh contour but I just wanted to go in and just do a little bit more and then here I just put the highlight that was in the Maybelline contour kit which I really liked it was just a subtle highlight and I've never Ever use this highlight in uh, the light to medium palette and it was actually really pretty I really liked 
the effect that it gave. And then I took that same shade and I used it as my brow highlight and my inner corner highlight and I thought that it pulled the eyes together really nicely with my face. And then for my lips, I'm using this Vivid Matte Liquid by Maybelline in the shade Nude Thrill. Yes, Nude Thrill, which I absolutely love this shade. It looks gorgeous on its own. Usually I like mixing shades, but I was really happy with just this on its own and I thought it looked pretty identical to Shay's photograph. This was super, super, super simple, you guys. I feel like this would be really great for a beginner as well. I just set my face using the infallible spray and that completes this look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I thought I got pretty close to her look. <laughs> it was super simple. And be sure to tag me on Insta if you try it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you, bye.